Hey guys, uh, so I wanted to give you a quick uh, video explanation on how to set up um, Azure VPN for iOS and um, Android. Um, so assuming you have, you know, your Azure VPN gateway, which has been set up by, you know, yourself or, or someone in, in IT, um, and you can download the VPN client from the point of site configuration. Um, <clears throat> You, so step one will be um, download VPN client, um, email yourself um, generic file inside, in, in, if I can spell. Okay, so let's do that real quick. Um, the other thing to note here while it's just downloading is um, what you're going to want to do is make sure that, especially for iOS, because it won't work. You can still get it working with Android, no problem, but iOS does need Ike v2 um, to work with uh, Azure. Uh, and if you do this one, this will do the Windows 10 clients, Mac clients, iOS, and Android. So it's a pretty good setup. You're going to need also the, um, this is a standard SKU for the VPN. Like, it's not the cheapest one, it's the next one up. So let's do show in folder, and then I'm going to open, let's extract this VPN gateway. Once you download the, the VPN and unzip it, what you're going to want to email yourself, which I, making that list there, generic, and inside the, the e, you don't need this one. You just need the the certificate that y you know you you're already using for the the VPN that has the you know the password the P12 or the PK uh, uh, PKS or whatever. So once that's you would email yourself the certificate and you're going to go into this file here. And if you go just edit, I guess um, <clears throat> the things that you're going to need from this is the um, <clears throat> Uh, essentially, you just need this uh, URL here. It's going to have a bunch of numbers in front of it, .vpn.azure.com, and you're going to need to email yourself that um, certificate, and then this, um, and I'll walk you through the um, <coughs> iOS part first. All right, so what you may have caught from that iOS video is we um, <clears throat> pre had the um, certificate um, installed, um, which is called a profile in the iOS. Profile in iOS. That, uh, that was the PS2 uh, client cert or whatever you saw there. You have to keep the the local ID, the same name as a client certificate uh, label. Um, and then you plop in the server address to the top two fields. Um, and it has to be an Ike um, v2 VPN setup. And then you should be able to hit any internal resource that you have on uh, iOS. Um, what else was there? Um, I think that's it for iOS. Now let's do um, <coughs> um, Android. So for Android, um, you're going to need a um, specific app. I only got it working with this one app, um, but uh, so we'll watch the video for that. So what I actually had to do on Azure, um, the tunnel type is change it to Ike V2 and open VPN SSL, which I confirm still works on Windows when you download the 64-bit client and whatnot. Um, then you're going to want OpenVPN for Android. It, there's a similar one just called OpenVPN, but this is a symbol you're looking for that I got working. Um, when you download the um, uh, zip file, it will have the generic 64-bit, 32-bit, um, and an OpenVPN folder. In that folder, it will have the 
app.ovpn file, email that to yourself and import it into the app. How I did that in the import was I went to new at the top and so if I go new and then it'll say import and I just picked the one that I copied over see it for you know today right um, and then that kind of imported but it didn't work right away so what I have to do is go into it and um, I had to change the Android certificate to pick the um, that uh, password protected client certificate that you should all have uh, installed on your machines to get your Windows one working. Um, and um, it picked up the the, the CA uh, certificate based on the OpenVPN file. And other than that, I didn't change anything else in here. Just set the, the client, uh, client certificate. So when I went back, you'll see it's connected right now. In the top, you'll see that VPN's kind of on. It does say that um, if I click here, that uh, network may be monitored, so VPN is kind of kind of on and working now. So um, yeah, so basically get that o VPN file imported into here, select your client certificate, and then you'll be good to go on Android. Uh, so you see here that I changed the tunnel type like I was talking about. Um, I'm just opening up the, uh, let's just open this one file. You'll see that you have this is the one for Windows 10. You know, most machines now are 64-bit, should be that one. Um, I'm not sure what's in that file. Then you have your generic, but then the OpenVPN. This is the file here that you're gonna copy to um, your um, Android to import, like I was saying. So the steps here, if I can help out here, is um, it was pretty easy to do the um, an iOS. So just say iOS. And we'll do 2.2.1 certificate installed um, on iOS, and then you reference the same things from the uh, screen share video. Um, that one's easy. The Ike to the only thing you have to make sure is that you're you know select Ike v2 and and that one there. Um, so go back here. So iOS is um, okay. So and so we create and edit. I'm just going to say um, um, copy from download VPN client um, zip from Azure the dot uh, OVPN file um, so that's fine if you um, email it will block sometimes it's not relevant because that file seems to go through fine it's not a certificate and test connection and you should be good to go on iOS um, Android and I guess um, you know since it's it's always easy to work on Windows 10 Windows 10 um, that's just your one file so all right thanks guys